Welcome, friends. It is I, Hero Slash Scarf, and it's time for the one shot Saturday, and we're playing Starbound. That's right, Starbound time. And Jinx saying hi. They've officially said they're done wiping characters, so here we are doing the one shot. So there it is. I just want to show you we have cultivated many trees, and Jinx is going to show you what's so cool about these trees. Yeah, now let's go. Yeah, there you go. So look at this. Cut down the tall trees. There's two different kinds of trees. These, this is a plant tree. There's also trees that are, you know, for wood. This looks cool. While she's doing that, I'm gonna show you off some other things over here. So there's a lot of this that's like Terraria and a lot like Minecraft in different ways. And there's just so many different uh, tile like blocks. I have like a dry sand, cobblestone, gravel, dirt blocks, fine sand, slime blocks. I got uh, more dirt blocks, just different things. I got chests in here. Like, you have two different bags. You got this, and then you got this other bag here, which is more for materials. Here's wood. And then here's... I got, like, I got a lot of wood and iron bars, copper bars, silver bars, coal, weaponry, and a campfire. And there's different factors that can kill you. There's heat, like your body temperature. If you're in a cold area, you need to warm up, or you will die. Of course, you can drown from water. You can also, I think, die of hunger, or just not be able to do too much from hunger. And just straight up get beaten by the monsters. And there's a bunch of crafting. There's a crafting table here. We also have a furnace for smelting. We got a metal workstation. Kitchen counter. And we also got a loom while spinning wheel. And I'm going to make something that's going to be for later on in this episode. Which is the... Where is it? The... Oh, balls. I can't find it. It's right over... I think I'm looking at the wrong thing. I'm looking at... no oh, craft table. I am officially blind. Where is it? It's the beacon. Crafting table near the bottom. All right. Yep, there is distress beacon. This will be it for the end of the episode. So here we go. And we now have a distress beacon. Now, besides that, we're going to make a... So we've completely adventured and found a lot of stuff in this place. As you can see, I have a diamond pick. Took a long time to make that. And I got equipment and everything. You have stats here. I have my equipment, I have my uh, vanities version of it, and then we got the actual equipment I wear. And we've done a lot here. But now it is time to go to the next area. So we're going to go ahead and make a star map. Where is it? Star... Star map upgrade. Here we go. So I'm going to make one right now. Now I have a star map, map upgrade Mach 2. So there it is for me. And then... Do you have one, Jinx? Or I have to make you one? She's got one. Okay, so, yeah, so that's what we're talking. So now we're going to go to the ship. So I'm going to go check out the ship. Jinx is going to take this all down while I go explain the ship. So going up to the ship, beam me up, Scotty. Here we go. And here's where you start your ship. There's my little ship here. You can actually destroy this, which is a bad plan. And here's your storage locker right here. I have a bunch of different things in this area. A lot of random stuff here. And now I got this star map upgrade. I don't know about it yet. Now this doesn't work yet as far as I know. There's tech here. Can't put anything in the tech yet. There's also a 3D printer where you can scan something and it'll make what you want using pixels, which is your currency. And you can't drop pixels. You can die and lose pixels, but you can only find them. I don't know if there's a way to break stuff down to get pixels, but here you scan an object and you should be able to make more of it. But it'll cost pixels every time. As far as I know, there's no way to just break things down as far as I know yet. Here's where you put your fuel, which is you use coal to make fuel. And there we go. So now, how do I use a star map? Star map. Whoops. Back off of that. How do you use the star map here? So this is a allowing flight to it. Okay. Just activate it. Um. How do I activate it? Oh, that's it. Ah. Oh yeah. There we go. Star map updated. New data has been uploaded to your ship's navigation system. Select the beta sector from the top. Access to view advanced. Okay. Well, there we go. So we're taking a look here. So this is where we are. Now we can go to the smaller planet, or if we want to, we can zoom out. We can look at these other planets we could go to, or even bigger out. So we're in the alpha sector, but apparently we can now go to the beta sector if we want. So look at that. There's all these things in beta we could go to, depending on how much fuel we have to go to them. But for now, we're going to go over here to the smaller planet right next to us. So we're going to do that. So go. And now we're going. And this is the first time we're doing it, and this is interesting here, so pulling FTL drive. So it looks like we jumped there, okay. This looks pretty cool here. Oh, look at that, oh! Oh snap, the ship's getting stronger! Ooh, holy crap, oh, that's cool! Check that out, okay, that is nice. And we're just, like, what was it, the Star Wars did this? Star Tours did this, 
Were you going through the stars like this? I guess, um, Star Trek? You go through stars. Holy crap, this... Don't look in the background. I'm messing with your eyes really quick when you try to focus on any of it. Damn. Okay, I, I gotta stop doing that. But this is pretty cool here. Nice. Can I... Yeah, there. I can walk around the ship while this is going. That's cool. And let the motion, sh motion sickness begin. Holy crap. So while... It, oh, we've arrived. So I guess if it's farther away, we would take longer. And while we're jumping there, we could just mess with our stuff. And there we go. Initialize navigation systems. We are here now. We can set this as our home now, I'm guessing. Or go back to the one we decided our home. So there... So here we are. That planet we were on is in the background. Now this is the new one here. So I'm going to go ahead and land down ahead of Jinx and see what happens here. Warp to planet. And we are in a new planet here. Ooh, look at these trees. Here we go. Chopping it down. See we get out of these trees here. And there are civilizations on some of these planets. Is there one here? I don't know. We're going to have to go look and see. There's, uh... I've never seen these before. Hey, guy! Oh, God, it's an enemy! Alright, you want a piece? Want a piece? There you go. Oh, one hit killed that guy. There we go. Let's see how this guy feels about a trident. Tried Ow! Trident? There you go. Got him. So the planet is hostile. Okay. So yeah, here you go. So we have a new world here to look at. And there's a lot of worlds out there to explore. So that's pretty cool here. And... All of these trees here. And then trees, well, they can be used for wood. And I can show the crafting system while Jinx gets, uh, takes her time to get over here. So here's kind of, so C for crafting. And here's the things you can innate and make. You can make crafting table, make all these things here. Steel block, bandages, hunting. Uh, but when you start out, you do tutorials to make some of these things. So you got range with hunting bow. And then there's a campfire to just cook food and stuff like that. And with the crafting table, you can make more things, and you can make other things, and other things, and other things. So you just make more things that can make other things, and there you go. But check out this enemy over here. Hey, buddies! Yeah, you're both dead, yep. Alright, there's a lot of random- there's a lot of random-ass looking enemies around here. Oh, uh, what- what is it? What is it? Ah! So, I think that's a boss. Is this a boss? So his bandage, oh dear god, oh god, oh god, take it on. Oh, it's it's stronger looking. It can take a hit. I got it, I got it, I got it. Ah! Killed it, whatever the hell that was. So it's just a stronger enemy, all right. So I'm just going to explore around a little bit. When she's here, she'll tell me and I'll just head back. Let's just explore this planet right now. And when she gets here, we'll make a base. Ah, god! Death to you, boy. There we go. And maybe we'll find civilization. Will it be hospitable or not? We'll find out. Well, wow, I have never seen any of these things, despite being on a planet nearby this one, so that's kind of interesting there. There's gold there. Yeah, what? I found a penal colony! And I'm digging up this gold right here. There we go. Diamond pick's strong. You can one block these right there. So good. I found a penal colony. I don't know if I want to go in here. I'm going in here. I'm going in here. Um, okay, okay, okay. We'll explore this later. Me and Jinx will explore it together later. Can I jump on this? No, no, bad plan. Ow, ow, ow. You coming to me? You want to check this out? Alright. Let me get some coal, some fuel for us. We do have plenty of uh, material. As you can see, I have 300 bandages. You heal over time. You don't instant heal as far as I know. Unless there's stim packs for it. There's Jinx. So, there you go. Jinx, you want to check out this penal colony over here? All right, here we go. All right, so there's a penal colony. I'm going to take this barbed wire for later. There we go. I got barbed wire now. Yeah, don't walk into that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking it. I'm taking it all. This could be useful. Mm -hmm. I'm taking this door, too. Yeah, that's my door. So here we go. It's a prison. Um, that lady's got a ship over there. I can sit in a chair. Oh. Oh, he had, oh these prisoners straight up went for us. All right, these guys. Hey, it's a water cooler. I want this water cooler. I want this. Yeah, I'm taking this water cooler. There we go. So we've explored this new planet, and this place has a prison, and looks like the prisoners took over. There you go. There's other species and stuff, not just humans. Uh, we ran into an ape race in the other planet. Uh, I will not tell you what we did to them. Well, unless Jinx wants us to tell you what we did to them. Highlight. In oh. Oh, there we go. Ow! I'm getting shot by a gun here. Oh, a lot of good that gun did him. Control to move the camera. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. So there we go. So I'm just, I'm taking those lights. 
Red lights. Like, you can just loot places from useful materials. You know, let's just... Can you take the USM... Uh, CS? Uh, USCM? Oh, a hand scanner. I want that. I want that. Hell yeah, I'm taking this hand scanner. Just looting places. I'm taking that as well. Taking random things. Now let's go kill more prisoners. I'm gonna go kill more prisoners. Hey guys who don't have guns. Ow, ships hurt though. Ah! He's using a chair! The chair! You killed Priest Jones? Well, I killed you too, buddy. There we go. Cell block over here. So it looks like they killed the guards. And this person hurts like hell. And now they're dead. It's a vending machine? Oh, oh, hello, it's a vending machine. Oh, it's a prison locker. I'm taking this stuff. I'm looting this stuff. Yeah, I got stim packs. No idea what they do, but I got stims. Taking the locker, too. The tab tells me what's... Oh, hold tab tells me what I can interact with. That's cool. I can sit in a chair and everything. I'm just beating the crap out of these guys. Wow, we're just, I'm just beating the crap. Oh, more lockers. Sweet, more lockers. Oh, this is awesome. Just taking all their stuff. Taking all their stuff. This is great. So you just go to planets and loot the crap out of them, or maybe you can interact and coexist with them. Like, the other planet, the first planet we were on, you could coexist with them. She, she took all the stuff. You could just coexist with them and be alright, but... Oh, there's a camera here. <laughs> Coexist, yes. I want that camera. Oh, she took it. Broken mirrors. And... I basically... I'm just gonna tell. I've, d I've dubbed us Star Dicks. Space Dicks. Because we actually completely wiped out the entire monkey species of the last planet. <laughs> and I get, a, I get a feeling we're gonna do that a lot. Ah! Jerk! Ow! The chair! The chair, yeah. We let the merchant leave because she sells us stuff. But we've murdered everyone else on the planet. Wow, that only does two damage. Jeez. At least they can't get to you, though. Hmm, what did these say? Oh, they don't say anything. We can't read them. Okay. Just wiping out a prison planet. This is great. Ow, ow, ow. Shoot guns. There we go. Hopefully we get guns at some point. Like, I'm wondering how far in the tech tree we are. I'm gonna go check up over here. I don't think we won up there. I wanna see if there's any more people to kill. <laughs> Just killing all the prisoners. And of course, this is the stuff you can do on this- Oh, Jesus Christ! Holy crap! Oh, whoa! Whoa! You're gonna explode me? You, 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 Jesus. They're exploding in my face, I can tell you that right now. Oh, you know, I'm healing up. Let's go get this jerk. I like how we can just tank all this damage, by the way. <laughs> And one hit kill. Jeez. We can't make any of them our friends. We just murder them all. Now I'm gonna see what one of these stim pack does. Let's see, what does blue do? It gives me a jumping boost. Holy crap, that bird looks oh jeez. Bird looks strong. Bird looks dead. Holy crap. Ah! Fire breathing! As you can see, things are crazy. Time to Kool-Aid this lady. Oh yeah! Here we go. Slowly digging to her. Nice. <laughs> you got shared. And now she's dead. Oh, she had a poison weapon. Oh no, Jinx has a poison weapon. Also, this toilet looks poisonous to me. Ugh. What the hell is that? Is that a... What the hell is that? They tie people to a chair there? Look at this. It's an upturned torture chair. Tape bed, nice. Oh, this lady's dead. And they're not even named. Poor them. What is this? What is this? I want this. What is this? It's a force cell. Nice. Kill this gunner on the roof. Here we go. Hey, buddy. Pew, pew. Dead, dead. There we go. Oh, oh, shoot. Another nice thing is, I should mention, is left click digs what's in front of you. Like so. But right click digs behind you. So you don't need hammers. Like in Terraria, you dig behind you just like that. And you can also sleep on beds and stuff. So like Jinx was doing, you can sleep on this to heal up. You, you heal very slowly from sleeping though. There we go. Take out this person eventually. 
How much more prison is there? Damn. You think you can beat us? Yeah, I think I can. Another interesting thing, though, is the world wraps around. It is... The world is round here. Like, it's not like Terraria where you eventually come to an end. Damn, Jinx. In in this game, you, you eventually uh, wrap around. So going all the way left, where eventually you'll find yourself back at the start. I like Terraria where you eventually find a wall. Good mint. There you go. More barbed wire. Nothing to steal there. Oh, there we go. More of these. You see, my inventory is pretty full. I think Jinx is just putting stuff in there. Let me see what this red one does. What does the red one do? Regeneration. Nice. What does the yellow one do? Glowing. Oh my god. Oh, we want these for going in the dark. I glow when I... Oh shoot, frame rate dropping for a second. Not good. Apparently having too many buffs has made to drip my frame rate to drop a little bit. And that's weird. A lot of enemies to kill though. That's what's important. Oh, it's because there's a lot of enemies around. This place is huge. I killed Jackal. And I also killed you, buddy. There we go. I'm getting shot, but they're dead. Damn, this prison has a lot of prisoners. Kill them, B. Oh, what is it, Jinx? Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. What is it? What is it? But oh yes! How do I equip this? How do I equip this? Oh my god! Give me this! Yes, I want this! Oh my god! Yeah, eight, eight, eight! Here it is! Oh! <laughs> oh yeah! It's on now! Oh, it's on now! Fight fire with fire, huh? Oh yes! I am. Thank you. Merry Christmas to me. Hey, buddy. Ooh, this doesn't do jack damage. This is a awful weapon. This is a very awful weapon, by the way. I'm gonna switch over to something that actually kills things. <laughs> Holy crap. It was cool until I noticed it didn't do anything. I think we have to upgrade these weapons. Um... Let's find out. Is this better than the bow? Okay, she's right. Oh no, did a lot of damage to that one. I think this one's just tougher. I don't know if the bow does more or less. Is that a drill? Oh, it's a gun. And they're dead. Are we like superhumans? Because holy crap. We just kill everything so badly. Oh, uh, here's some more serums. Stems. There we go. Take all that. So much stuff to loot around here. It's nice. <laughs> if I don't respect the gun. Well, if you want it, you can have it. Apparently someone's in the background? Bateman, I will avenge you. She really avenged. Let's see if there's someone in the background. There was worries in the back. I want to check. No, no one's in the background. Oh, there's stems up there. I'm gonna go get those. I like how we just ransacked a prison. Like it's nothing. Oh, let me go kill that person over there. We are just awful, awful people. Just killing the crap out of people. Oh god, I'm dead. I wasn't paying attention to HP, my bad. And here's what happens when you die. At least I can show you what happens when you die. Remember the fifth element? It's like that. Just like the fifth element. There you go. And there's different species in the game. You can be a plant person or a robot and stuff. So yeah, and I see I lost a lot of pixels for that. And there's just a lot of different things you can be. You don't remember that in the fifth element? How do you not remember the fifth element? Okay, well, anyway. Uh, see, there's my hunger, because I just died. I came back, so I'm not, I'm not hungry at all. And there's plants. And the plants come back. They're a seed that gets grown. It's funny. And then robots, I'm not sure. They got they get assembled, probably. But different races have different ways they get resurrected. i got to get all my way back to, over to the to the prison there. Coming over back to Jinx now. See if she's wiped out. How much has she wiped out? And the underground is... There's a ton of just underground areas... There's like a slime area and a poison area and just lot. There's there's eventually lava at the center because it's the core. Jinx trying to cut me off. Yeah, so let me show you this. So you just you just hold left click and you can just lay out all the land you want. It's pretty nice. A lot quicker and easier than uh, uh for uh, how you do in Terraria. It's pretty nice for that. Jinx is gonna block my way. Ah, there she is. There we go. Moving on. I think she's typing. Yeah, much longer range as well. That's pretty nice there. 
So there's a lot of nice things to this game. There really are. Have you? Did we wipe out the whole place? Because I'm not seeing anything right now. Is this the exit? Oh no, there's more. There's more. Oh, the two-way uh, mirrors for talking. Okay. Oh, found somebody with a ship. Here we go. Let's get him. Trespassers will beat into a pulp. Yeah, you're gonna beat me with a knife? Okay. More like you just die. Is this the end of the prison? Yep, we found the end of the prison. There it is. Oh, there's one more person up there? No, that's a stand. Oh, what is it? <laughs> well, there we go. We've killed everyone. At least here. Is there more out there? Who knows? Let's go a little bit further beyond. And then nighttime, of course, is dangerous. I'm wondering how about rain here? At the other planet, uh, there was acid rain, which does constant damage while you're out. And it hurts like hell. Kill this sheep thingy. There we go. Ah. I should use that glow potion. I mean, that glow stone. There we go. Now I'm glowing. Now I can see things better. And Jinx fell in the hole. And the underground has a lot of things like these capsules here. You can get money off of. Well, pixels. Ah! The birds don't like me. Still running. Still running. I think I'm looking for more civilization, if there's any. Go, go, go. Ah! Yeesh! They're chasing me. Not caring about the pixels right now. Oh, that thing runs out quick. Dang. I don't need to glow that much anymore. Oh, I gotta find sand. Is this sand? I gotta show off sand if it is. Is this sand? Let's see here. It is sand. Oh, I gotta show off sand. Hold on, Jinx. Don't dig it all up. I'm gonna show sand. But here's sand. Just digging down really quick here. Or just go down with Jinx. Okay, here we go. Check out sand. This is amazing. Once these enemies stop attacking us. They said, stop attacking us! There we go. Wow, this gun looks a lot better on these guys. There we go. So here's how sand works. It's very interesting here. This isn't sand. Ah! No, it's sand, but it's not the tumbly kind. The hell? No, there it is there. See, it tumbles. It comes apart and falls down. Oh no, that's the wrong sand. We need... Broken up sand, apparently. It's different kinds of sand. So there you go. See how it falls? Look at the... Kind of a landslide being caused right there. That's pretty cool there. Is this platinum? It is platinum. There we go. The sand just falls. Oh no, it's silver. That just looks really cool. So there's fine sand, then there's sand sand. Okay, I think that's that's got to be platinum or silver. Let me see if it is. Digging it quick here. Oh, it's silver. Okay. And we could we could dig straight down to different biomes and stuff. There's just a lot of cool stuff. And different planets have a lot of different land biomes. Like, not always the same. Oh, here's a random buff that we can pick up. Picking it up. And now I have regeneration or it gave me full HP. Oh, we found ourselves a desert area. So now we got a desert tree we can cut down. And they drop seeds for us to plant if we want. And I'm curious if this plant would uh, grow in a, in a different area or not. Oh, it's cacti. Oh, interesting. I wonder what we can do with that. And we're just going forward, aren't we? And this is just really cool looking. This is really cool. Oh, there's another one down there. Ah. Oh, oh, I found something. I found something. I found a chest. I think it's a sacrificial place or something. So there's a chest right here, and it has... Copper in here, rope, carrots. All right, interesting. Jinx can have that. I got... What? Darn it. Okay, here we go. I can't reach it. Using the gun. Using the gun. Here we go. <laughs> Bam! There we go. Hmm, what is it? Kind of shooting at something here. Rope? Let me do the rope. Try the rope? Oh, I'm gonna try the rope. What's the rope do? Okay, let's see what rope does. Oh, I'm burning crap. So what does rope do? Let's show off what rope does. So I'm gonna equip rope. Number. And how do you how do you use this? How do you use rope? 
Thanks. I'm not able to use it, are you? What's it do? Does it do anything? I guess not. Alright, okay. I think we've shown off a lot of the game already besides the underground area, but there's just, the underground area's just got a lot of monsters in different biomes and stuff that are very interesting. There's just so many of them that you have to discover a lot of them on your own as well. So we're just going to show off the Distress Beacon, right? Now let's go ahead and show off the Distress Beacon. And as you can see, you can also jump really high. Let me do this. Put the Distress Beacon up a high. Oh, I, I got my... I'm stuck. I clipped myself. I clipped myself, so help me out here. I'm kind of going to die. <laughs> ah! Kind of going to die here. Thank you. I can't believe I clipped myself. This gun's kind of a cool, but it's also slow as balls. There we go. What does this rope do, though? Okay, there we go. Oh, it's climbing rope. You turn rope into climbing rope. So there you go. So now you can hang on it. There you go. So that's what she was doing. All right. So that looks pretty cool there. I'm going to go ahead and use the Distress Beacon now. There we go. Ready, Jinx? There we go. Used it, and this is it. We summoned a boss with it. That's a boss fight. Bring it, boss. And, it, and his little penguin guys show up. Pretty cool. And I'm going to die if I'm not careful. Yeesh. Uh-oh. Oh dear. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay, there we go. Now I have shelter for a moment while I can heal up. And this is what's cool about the UFO. It can break your house. Just breaks it down. Wow, this gun's amazing. Alright, she's got minion duty. I'll take care of this. Okay, not anymore. I'm out of ammo here. I'm out of uh, stamina. Apparently you use stamina for shooting. Oh crap. Oh crap. Switch the gun. You can, uh, mouse wheel your different things. This boss was a lot harder before. We're doing pretty well against it right now, but it keeps breaking our place. So we summoned this thing at our house, and it just destroyed our house the first time. <laughs> pretty great. Take these out. It also goes invisible. It has cloaking. Wow, this gun's a lot better now that I've gotten it to use it a little more. Pretty nice. Way up there. Climb up. Climb it up. Climb it up. See, it just slams down to just destroy everything. Hell, why can't I, can I put anything? Screw it. Ah, jeez. Penguin. Ah, shredding it. Shredding it. I don't know why, but we can't place anything. There we go. She's placing it now. In the background? What the hell? Oh, jeez. Oh, it's summed out a mini UFO. Careful, careful. Oh, there we go. Nice. See, now it's cloaked. I'm still hitting it. Now it's dead. We destroyed it. We win, and we picked up a bunch of random stuff. Yep, she picked up the other random stuff. Well, there we go. We summoned a boss and beat it. And there's a bunch of bosses in the game, as far as I know. There's a lot of different things to craft out in this game, and they're going to be adding more as they go, of course. Ooh, nice. Great. All right. You think there's anything else we need to show? I gotta see this. Dreadwing the penguin? Let's see, where is it? Um, I just disappeared in my inventory. On the right, there is my codex. Oh, here it is. Ooh, lower in the game. That's cool. Nice. Got all these ding, uh, different things. So where's the codex? Here it is. Dreadwing the Penguin. Use it. And now I have a new codex, which is Dreadwing the Penguin. It's a boss. Oh, cool. A codex about the boss, and we can read about him. Nice. There we go. Think there's anything else? Alright. So like Terraria, there's just a lot of stuff to explore and have fun with, and there's we're far from done with this game, that's for sure. Now she's digging down. But well, there's just so much stuff to just explore in this game, having all the different planets and civilizations to deal with. There's a lot to play in this game, just like with Terraria. So I can't wait to dive in and just see what else comes up. And as they add more, even more there. And she's elevating. And that is the game. This is just a great game. 
I had fun, hope you're fun watching, and that's what's all about, isn't it? Having fun. Thanks for coming by, and see you next time.